Greetings, survivors. We're on day three of Blades and Bows. So, today's game plan is to get ourselves ready for this uh, giant horde we're going to have coming through later tonight. How are we going to do it? Well, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take that out. Yeah, that's going to suck. Actually, first thing I want to do is take out all these chumps and see if they can drop me a bag. But, okay. We have the stuff to do. Well, first things first, before I do the first things that I said we're going to do first. Um, I was going to wear this, but it's got the exact same armor rating that I have. It's going to have less stamina, and the only good thing is it's got more max durability. But the other one has explosion resistance. We're going to keep that. It's also got better thing on that, so I'm just going to keep that. Scrap you for whatever it's going to be. Now, points. I got two. I'm going to drop one into Whirlwind. I'm going to drop another one into Parkour. You're going to find out later. Well, later. Those guys can stay over there and do whatever they're going to do. They're not going to be running, so I'm not really worried about them. Turn this back on. We're going to drop this, even though it's going to take forever and a month to do. So I'll see you when that gets done. That is never not going to be satisfying. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's just too cool to watch. <laughs> Physics, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now nah, I got cleanup. Now, for my next trick, I am going to do something rather dumb. Uh, I don't like how it looks like there's a block missing right there, so I'm just going to go with it. So how this works is I go ba doop ba -doop. I just show you. We have a little bit of a buffer gap, a moat, <laughs> an air moat, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't. I don't specifics. I will have to build a ramp on the sides just so they can get up to me. Otherwise, I'll just sit there and slam on that. Probably. I could also take some of my blocks and just you know fortify that whole thing down there, put another another level of protection between me and whatever. But I'm gonna finish filling out this filling out. I'm gonna fill in the rest of this floor right here, and then go down and. Um, Try to build that stuff back up. So this does have its obvious and maybe not so obvious limitations to it. There's kind of... Well, that's 5,000. Shit. There is a big possibility that they might not be able to path to you with this one. Because you have no... Like, there's nothing right here for them to be like, Oh, there's a way to get to us. I did try this one before, before I uh, started this series with this exact POI. So I know that it does work. I just don't know if it's going to work now that I'm actually recording things. <laughs> because, you know, why would it? Come on, big man pajama. Ta-da! Come and get you some. Let's see if we can get this to work, shall we? Let's see if she'll still path to me. She is still pathing to me. Great! Now if you time this just right, if you have a knife or whatever, she'll miss the jump, she'll take bleed damage, and then she'll just fall and round robin. I have noticed, though, that they do kind of go for those columns right there, which I really need to um, make sure doesn't happen. Another thing is, while they're coming up, if you have enough time and you can see them, you start plugging away at them. 
Oh, that's what it took to get you some pep in your step? Had some bleed damage. Oh, she has an arrow stuck in her cheek. <laughs> I should probably grab that. I'm gonna take her out, finish the rest of this, and I might just skip right to the horde. I don't think I'm gonna be... Oh, alrighty then. Thank you for the blue drop. Lovely. I might just skip right to the, uh... The horde now. But let me get on this and see what can happen. Alright, it's almost go time. I made myself a campfire, got some steaks going and some water. I'm gonna put my forge right here. Not a lot of other things can be held up here for obvious reasons because you're being held up by whatever. I did find some cobblestone in my inventory and I also made a little bit. I upgraded all that row right there to cobblestone and everything else should, in theory, be good to go. But with these idiots doing idiot stuff, I do have to make sure that I'm not looking down and then getting, you know, hit. Because if I get hit, I'm gonna get infected. And as we all know, being infected is not good. I got the nurse coming up, and this guy right here. I missed. I totally missed. I got my arrows back, but I totally missed every shot. <laughs> Perfect. I like how the nurse is the only one that knows how to do this. There we go. And this chick, too. Oh, oh wow. Alright, cool. Thanks. Got her. Ooh, she almost got me back, though. I got five arrows left. Oh, I missed. I got four arrows left. That was a dumb shot. It was a very dumb shot. Oh, come on. Ooh, could have grabbed that, but I dropped it. Thought I was going to grab that arrow. I did not. Did I even get him? Hello, party girl. Bye-bye, party girl. This is working exactly how I wanted it to. Except for this guy right here. I don't that's not what I want you to do. Stop doing that. <laughs> Stop being a jerk. Ooh, got him. Nice. So the odds of them breaking through tonight on that on the the stuff down there, not very high, but Ooh, try to stab her and not get hit. I do have that honey, but I'm really not too keen on using it now. Like, I really don't want to use it now. It's too early for that. I missed. This is only a 24 or whatever it is horde, so it's not really that big. But it is probably going to be enough to do some damage to me if I drop my guard too much. Eat it. Hope you're hungry. Oh, nice, I got him. A lot of arrows, which is not good. I missed, but he did not, which really sucks. Come on, Skippy. Oh, oh, got an arrow back. Oh, nope. And oh, boom. See, so that's what I like. You hit them just before they have a chance to, like, swing at you. And then just sit there and bleed. All right, I need to take that guy out who's over there just slamming on stuff. Oh, nope, maybe not. Oops. Not every hit has to be a power attack, even though it's kind of helpful because you do more damage to him. Obviously. I kind of want to hang on to this arrow for the next dumbass that's over there just hitting on the stairs. Or the ramp. Need to add a little more, or a few more things over here just to make sure I don't lose my, uh... My footing, as it were. I really want to just shoot these guys. Do I have any arrows or arrow making materials? Got my like arrows or arrow making materials? Nice jump. Really worked out for you. Alright, we're out of arrows again. <laughs> Alright, let's let them round robin for a little bit, see if I can find some more arrow making stuff. Do I have any feathers? Don't think I have any feathers. I'm gonna grab you just for whatever reason. Yeah, I don't have any feathers. Well, that's not good. I was going to try to get my forge made, but I don't have enough like points in there to unlock the forge. I think I only have two or three left. You got Skippy down there and Numbnuts right there. This guy right here. Well, bam! He's now taking blood damage. I think... I'm not really sure where I'm going to put the blade traps. Or if I live long enough for the dart traps either. I 
fine. You can take out that. I don't really care about that. Uh, I kind of want to jump down there and finish these guys off. How many do I got? Is it three down there? One, two. I think it's three left. If there's only three left, if this guy, if I kill this guy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump down there. Finish this. Oh no, there's more than three. Maybe there's three now. Dab it. Stop it! I'm gonna throw a stone at you. <laughs> and jump! Damn it. Stop going blow for blow. You're gonna get infected, bro. Down to 68. Let's drop one of these. Didn't grab my. I thought I grabbed the arrow that was in that dude's side, but I guess not. So let's, uh. This is really not wise. One of them just died. Hey! Skippy balls. Come out here. I missed. Ow. Nice. So the reason I put that that spot or that one into parkour is normally when I do this base design, I am way, way higher than this. Putting a point into parkour will help limit fall damage and all that stuff, because sometimes I don't make this jump. <laughs> I botch the jump just like they do. Which is actually kind of funny, because I'm supposed to be the not deadhead. <laughs> sir. Please come back, sir. You know what? I'll come to you. Service with a smile, baby. Cool beans. Alright. I'm gonna grab this. Can I do this one too? Nope. Check the damage. Ooh, did a pretty good number on that one. I don't really care about that. It's not doing anything for longevity or structural integrity. All right, this this needs to be fixed pretty pretty sh pretty uh pretty quickly. Let me uh, do some base inventory base and inventory management, and then I'll see you at four probably. All right. Well, it's close enough to being four o'clock. Also, I have. I have tried this base concept design in Higashi Tower on the part that has been that corner that was taken out. I tried it on there off camera and it works really, really well. Just make sure you can make that jump. Otherwise, you're going to have a really long fall ahead of you. But that's okay. You'll have a plenty of time to contemplate your life decisions. But I'm going to stuff my dude's face with some of this charred meat, slug down some of this water, and that's going to do it for this episode of Blades and Bows or Bows and Blades or whatever I said this was. <laughs> I'm going to say Blades and Bows. In the next episode, we're going to run over to the trader, drop off some stuff, turn in some things, take the next one, and just continue on. Thank you for joining me. If you want to find me on Twitter or X, go for it, at ComfyTerryGamer. But until then, see ya.